uh, Taquan, you've you've played so well, uh, you know, obviously this year, and I'm just kind of curious as to what do you kind of attribute uh, that growth and improvement uh, to throughout uh, the season. I'm kind of curious, maybe some conversations that you have with your coaches and in in ways that you want to maybe even improve or go up to the next level um, as far as your game is concerned. Um, I think uh, I think the first thing after my junior season. I had a conversation with my mom and uh, kind of was uh, a little upset that I didn't play as good as I wanted to play. Uh, I might not have had a bad year or whatever, but I still was kind of disappointed in myself and I wanted to play better. And I felt like I could have put, you know, better tape out there and I could have definitely did more to help the team win more. And I, I just wasn't satisfied. And going into my senior season and not being so, like, so, so eager to get better, so... I just was hungry for so much more. And I just wanted to do more for the team and do more for myself. And uh, getting Coach Ash uh, here with the new defense, yeah, I just felt like uh, it energized us all, especially the defensive line going to four down. And it's something that uh, I, I really took serious. And uh, uh, I looked at everything that I was doing last year, what what I wasn't doing enough, where I could do more. This, this everything from top to bottom, I just try to work on. John, how go ahead. Uh, a little while ago, Sam was talking about just how frustrating this year has been with, with some of the losses and just not playing to the level that he feels you guys are capable of. What's been the most frustrating thing for you and, and how do you guys overcome that and, and keep moving? Um. Early on, uh, when we were giving up all, uh, we were giving up explosive plays as a defense earlier in the season. Uh, this, like, all the work that I felt like we put in, uh, all the long practices in camp, like, all the things that we've done, and to, I guess, go on the field and see, like, the results, uh, that was the most frustrating part, uh, losing two games back to back, and, you know, everyone having the opinion that our, our season was over, this team isn't any good. Uh, just, just hearing all that mess and all, it, it just really was frustrating. But at the same time, it, it gave us a chance to reflect on ourselves and see what we were doing wrong. What could we do better? What what really is the problem? Because we knew talent was the, wasn't the problem. So uh, we just went to work, like we've been saying for these uh, past few weeks, we just went to work and uh, I'm definitely satisfied with the results that we've been able to put out there. Chip, go ahead. TQ, Sam said that um, y'all are looking at this like the playoffs, because if you lose one, you're out. Um, can you go into that a little bit more? And how did this team get closer during the off week? Um, like at this point in time, uh, we control our own destiny. And if we win the rest, win the rest of the games, uh, we're in the Big 12 championship. But if we lose any game, uh, it kind of knocks us out. And uh, we made everyone aware of that. And I feel like that's the most important thing to take it week by week. And it's, it's just like uh, kind of like high school again, uh, the high school playoffs. Uh, you lose one game, it's, you're out, you're done for. So I feel like having that approach has worked best for us right now. And it's reality for us. We have to win every single game. Nick, you're up. Yeah, Taquan, you, you mentioned it earlier a little bit, just some of the frustrations with sort of this roller coaster of a season. You know, I'm curious, you know, how, how do you keep yourself even and how do you fight back against the human nature of maybe <clears throat> wanting to go and read everything that people are saying about you or read everything that's being written about you? Or do you even push back against, against that? Do you go and read it and use that as fire? I mean, how do you approach that? Um, personally, for me, uh, it, it's, it's kind of hard not to see those things when you're on your social media. And it definitely is frustrating, but um, I'm not the type of person to go into the tank and, you know, to give up. I'm always one that's trying to uh, push forward and go ahead. And I, I just think uh, you have to look at those things and it, it just has to drive you. It has to fuel you in some way. And I think that's uh, really the key, personally, for me. Uh, I'm always trying to improve and move forward. And because no no one's perfect, no team is perfect, uh, there's always things to work on. And we had a lot of things to work on. We're going to continue forward from there. Jake, you're up. 
Yeah, TQ, uh, when Keandre went down with the injury two weeks ago, guys on that defensive line really stepped up uh, in his absence. But can you take us through uh, the difference you feel when Keandre is on the field and just how important he is uh, to the defense as a whole? Um, uh, he's pretty important. He's a, he's a big old anchor that plays uh, in there beside me. And uh, uh, personally for me, uh, I had to play a little nose. and I really wasn't too happy for that. And because, you, you know, that, that snack spot, snacks, got all that. Uh, he's a big, physical, strong presence. And we, we definitely missed him out there. But he still was able to step up and uh, fill that role and do his job. And I'm grateful that he was able to do that for us. Marcus, go ahead. Yeah, as far as just kind of the, the turnaround the defense has had over the last few weeks, putting up some, some pretty strong performances, especially after the, the start to the season, is is that you know in any way attributed to getting to know the system more? Is it just finding a groove, or how, what? What do you attribute that to um, in general? Uh, uh, I chalk it up to uh, us learning the defense more, and us being more disciplined, and when we're fitting runs, uh, uh, being more disciplined all the way around, uh, actually executing uh, what our coach has been telling us to do. And doing that on a consistent basis, that's what the most important thing is, uh, being consistent within executing the things that they're telling us to do. And I feel like we've done that these past few weeks. Kirk, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Puka Williams opted out a while back. Uh, are you going to miss him? Or are you glad to see him on the sidelines as good as he is? Uh, I'm going to miss uh, competing out there against him. He's a, a explosive running back, and I definitely think he's – uh, he has a uh, next level talent and uh, uh, I'm really, man, hey, for somebody only to have a, uh, I don't know how many toes he has left, dude, super, super fast, mm -hmm. really fast and explosive. And uh, I don't know, uh, just chalk it up to wherever it is. Uh, he's a pretty good player and I'm definitely going to miss competing against him out there. And I think we may be talking to Chris Brown today. It's, is he the most emotional player on that defense or the craziest or how would you term him? I would say he's one of the funniest. Uh, you've seen okay. his flash out there. He's oh, yeah. a definitely energetic guy. And he, he brings his juice to the defense. And, hey, he's, he's a heck of a guy you'll, you'll, you'll see later. And he's pretty enthusiastic. Thanks. Chip, go ahead. TQ, what um, – has, has the team gotten closer in the, in the off week – Anything, uh, anything along those lines? Um, just going out there and practicing together and uh, having fun and competing against each other. My bad, competing against each other. I think that, uh, I think that brings us closer when we're out there competing, going head to head. And I think just doing that on a bye week like this is uh, very important, not only to you know fix the things that we feel like need to be worked on. But just like you said, uh, to kind of bond a little bit because when you're out there on the field going against each other head to head, that's what you do. You bond out there naturally. And, uh, and BJ Foster, who, is he the hardest hitter? Who's, who's the hardest hitter right now on this defense? I heard BJ took out a couple of your own guys last week. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure who's the hardest hitter out there. I wasn't really around for that, but hey, we, we got uh, we got BJ, we got Marvion, we even got Chris Brown. We got a lot of guys that can bring the wood. Uh, it's I, I wouldn't be able to pick just one of them. 